high traffic into total gridlock. We happen to be caught in it as well. It was a nightmare. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lauren Sanchez. I'm Rick Garcia. Hello. The president-elect is wasting no time getting his White House in order. He's moving at max speed and picking his staff. A 10-year-old girl was playing with friends when a stranger ordered her to get in his car. Luckily, she managed to escape and was able to give a good description of her attempted abductor. Madonna's sold-out Sticky and Sweet Tour makes a stop at Dodger Stadium tonight. And lucky for the fans there, the Material Girls shared the stage with a surprise guest for part of the show. I think, Rick looks, I think Rick looks good for like well, 55. Well, pre-50. <laughs> but Phil, there was supposed to be another big surprise, I thought. The big surprise. Thanks for that, Phil. Thanks, Phil. Okay, that brings us to tonight's email question of the night. Madonna rocking Dodger Stadium. And tickets were definitely hard to Wild doesn't describe, begin to describe what you're about to see. It's part love boat, part fantasy island, and all decadence. Whatever it is, as Mark Thompson shows us, it's definitely the hottest scene on the high seas. I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Lauren Sanchez. West Hollywood on Wednesday, West LA on Thursday. Tonight, it was Long Beach. Supporters of gay marriage angry over the passage of Prop 8 won't give up their fight. Hal Eisner. To me, and Proposition 8 protests are not limited to Southern California. In the trial of ex-Orange County Sheriff Mike Coronas in Santa Ana, secretly recorded conversations are now emerging, along with new evidence regarding bribery. Al Nice smooth transition, yeah, I mean, those are important and all. But you know what, let's lighten things up and talk about what kind of puppy will be living in the Obama White House. And will it mind Barney's markings? Uh, pressing indeed. That brings us to tonight's email question. Not so long ago, politicians were routinely asked, Boxers or briefs? Well, I think one politician was asked that, right? But oh. he was. Now it's poodle or schnauzer, the great puppy decision. And in Haiti, at least 30 people, many of them children, killed when a three-story school collapses. It's sampling it. Oh, they, no. they're not old enough. They're not, it's not legal for them. Of course not. No 21-year-old sure. samples alcohol. That would be Not in that college. Would be bad. A very sweet, very touching, very happy reunion at an Iowa elementary school. Do you think he said it or do you think someone wrote it for him? Because he, he wrote he it. He wanted to do this. He ran it by his teammates, but when he, because he was in a news conference, that's when I think he wrote something down. But, uh, okay, okay. I get it. He wanted to be prepared. <laughs> okay. Don't get stuck on perpetual hold for customer service or wait all day for a cable technician. I mean, seriously, you can be on the phone for hours. Instead, you might get faster and better results venting your complaints on the Internet. Oh, and I go Oh, yeah, I can't, you can't read that one. Uh, some of them you can't read. The president-elect should serve as an example of service at all times, and therefore... We Perfect. They're loud, they're big, they're lovable, maybe too lovable. And you have kids, but they shed. No, not a lot. Not a lot? Not a lot. I think the new president's dog should be a Rottweiler to really send a message of change and really meaning business in this presidency. Lady Shisha writes, they should get a Shih Tzu because they're cute and adorably ugly. Fitting for a presidential personality. They really are. Yeah, ugly. cute and ugly sort of way. Right. right. Kind of like you. I think they should get an English bulldog because they are very fun dogs. Brian in Rialto. Slobbery, but fun. Uh, 